Thanks for being in this class and, and giving your time. I first want to congratulate all of you for being selected to participate in this forum. I understand it's a pretty competitive process and I think the fact you were selected is a credit to you and to your work as a lawyer. And I hope that one of the goals of this initiative is to inspire you uh, to think very broadly about what our larger community needs from the legal profession, uh, from lawyers, uh, from leaders. I want you to understand how significant you are to the future of this state. We are, we're in a position to make a lot of decisions and a lot of things by way of our influence of government, our ability to work with people, getting elected to public office, and all of us I think should be looking at the challenges that we can get ourselves into to try to improve our state. Someone has looked at us and they have said, I believe that that person could be a leader. On a good day, leaders define their own roles. On a great day, leaders define the role of others. That's your privilege. Don't be afraid to go out there and do something, even if it's wrong, my grandfather used to say, but you know, we can't be a perfectionist paralysis. And um, I encourage you to go out there and do something. If you make a mistake, learn from it. There's the focus of what you're immediately doing, and then there's all the background chatter and clutter that is always trying to distract you from what you're trying to do. There's no telling where some of y'all may be. I never thought 40 years ago that I would be the governor of the state of Alabama. You never know where you're going to be. There's no question that uh, the legal field uh, needs lawyers who are thinking not just about the details of the documents that they are preparing and reviewing and the cases that they are working on, but broader issues of justice and opportunity and fairness and how good society should function. The way you're really successful, in my opinion, is to treat people a certain way. And in a relationship, the more you know about each other, the better you are. I can't tell you how important civility and teamwork is. And, and I think too often, again, we think about winning cases and we think about getting results and we think less about solving problems. I would suggest at the core of thoughtful citizenship, I mean at the heart of decision making of issues that affect other human beings around us, the ability to decide how to use the talent and gifts we have to improve communities, all of that is wrapped into the concept, the idea, the ability of compassion. The ability you either develop or you don't to see through someone else's eyes, to be able to walk in someone else's shoes. I'm always pleased that my colleagues think some of the finest lawyers we hear arguments from are Alabama lawyers, and so I think that's a real credit to our state bar. One year Coach Bryant was asked, they said, Coach, define leadership. He said, well, he said, I don't know that I can define leadership. He said, I just know one when I see it. See, that's what it is. It's knowing one when you see it. We talked about leadership. Four words. Listen, learn, lead, and help. We need to be the leaders of our profession and leaders of our communities, and we need to do that professionally, ethically, and morally. I think you guys are, are on the road to, to, to some great things. I know many of you. You've already done a lot of great things, but just remember this. Leadership is not a position, it is action, and that's what's expected of you. So do the best you can every day, and someplace somebody will look at you and say, I may not define leadership, I may not know how to define leadership like Coach Bryant said, but I know one.